Rubber Secrets. Mind-blowing science in 60 seconds. If you think rubber is just for car tires, think again. It's in your gloves, your erasers, even your favorite football. Let's uncover the wild science behind rubber. Rubber starts its life as milky sap, called latex. It's tapped from rubber trees. That gooey sap? It's packed with long chains of carbon atoms, polymers that give rubber its stretch. Early rubber was sticky and melted in heat. Pretty useless, right? But in 1839, Charles Goodyear accidentally dropped rubber and sulfur onto a hot stove. The result? Vulcanization. This process cross-links the rubber's molecules, making it tough, flexible and heat-resistant. Today, natural and synthetic rubbers are everywhere, from jet aircraft to doctor's gloves. Fun fact, a single mature tree can yield latex for decades. And the world produces over 13 million tons of rubber each year. So next time you bounce a ball or hop on a bike, remember you're using a material with a truly elastic history. Science really does stick around.